Today's a Sunday, July the uh, 7th. So in relation to the uh, previous video where I was, uh, you know, I talked about Biden and I believe the uh, the move, we see the move forming to essentially get Obama back in for a uh, essentially a third term. And so that could go multiple ways, but clearly to me, it's looking like it's a mostly what we're seeing now. It's a, it's, it's a move to get Obama back in there. And so this is going to be in relation, it's, uh, this video is going to be in relation to the uh, previous one. So the same topic of Biden, but in you could say a, a, a something else that's been coming to my mind over the the past few months as the more and more the news had been coming about, out about a Biden and his uh, brain <clears throat> deterioration. You know, I've talked about over uh, the past couple of years about zombies and what I believe the implications of people who chose to put uh, foreign substances into their body. You know what I'm referring to. The implications of that and uh, prions and how the uh, uh, symptoms, the onset of symptoms for prion uh, conditions is delayed years on the order of years. So, and I've had multiple confirmations about this, the zombies, the prions, various co confirmations. And so what, what, what the Lord, what's been really laid in my spirit over the past few months off and on, I've never, I have not mentioned this in video, but as I've not, as I noticed the, uh, these, uh, it hid in the, uh, you know, mainstream news about people having various brain deterioration. So Biden, this Alzheimer's dementia, if you notice, even uh, in 2017, remember Wendy Williams, she was dressed up as a statue of Liberty for Halloween 2017 and she uh, collapsed live on air. And that represents the, uh, she, so she fainted on air collapse dressed up as a statue of Liberty, Halloween 2017, that represents the collapse of this nation. And so isn't it odd within the past year or so, pretty recently, she was diagnosed or she made public her diagnosis of a brain condition, her diagnosis of a called aphasia. So brain deterioration, so closely related to, you know, Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson's, all in that same ballpark, the brain deterioration. And so Wendy Williams, in roughly around the same time, Bruce Willis, so the actor, Bruce Willis also uh, had gone public with his diagnosis of the exact same brain condition, aphasia. So these two prominent people and... And then, and also, and then Biden, I had noticed that the, over the past few months, six months, year, reports of his brain deteriorating and what had been, what had been laid in my spirit. I'm like, I, I believe this may have to do with some sort of a, a signaling or a, a, a spell casting for the zombie onset, the onset of the zombie, uh, situation that's what i've been in i know there was a, a brother on here mark he had shared a dream recently about seeing biden with black eyes and uh right uh, like underneath a cow and then someone else nearby saying it's time to cast a spell we need to cast a spell and immediately i'm, I'm i was thinking when he shared that dream this is mad cow disease casting a spell I'm like, this could very well, because that's what's been coming to my mind the past few months off and on. I have not brought this up in video. They may be pumping this out. The devil may, may be going public with the, these, these uh, high-level figures and brain deterioration as a form of spell casting. You understand the, the witchcraft sorcery, it's very real. Notice they're pumping out these reports of Biden. Where is it being? How is it being delivered through the television, the news broadcast? And so listen, notice carefully. They call it television. That's telling a vision. That's a devil, the de a devil's fake vision. So his form copycat. 
The Lord can give us dreams and visions. But how's the devil delivering visions? Through television. People sitting in front of a box, staring at it, receiving a vision, tell a vision from the devil. So how's this news of Biden and his brain function? This is being delivered through news uh, networks, television. Notice uh, uh, channels, te- uh, television channels, channeling a demon, channeling a demonic spirit, channel to channel, channeling witchcraft. These are terms used in witchcraft, broadcasting, broadcasting TV networks, broadcasting, casting a spell over the public, casting a spell, broadcasting, all these uh you notice all this terminology with uh, televisions, broadcasting, channels, channeling demons, casting spells, broadcasting, telling a vision, a false vision. So if you've noticed, so that how is this this uh this this uh these reports on Biden? It's being delivered through these uh you know television, broadcasting. So I believe what they may be doing is casting a spell in preparation for the zombie situation. So Biden, I mean, it is possible this could even be completely completely fabricated, that they're directing him to say these types of things. Now it's also possible he could be having an actual dementia, and they may be telling him to say additional things. You know, throw in some extra mishaps or say some really weird things uh, to even make it look even to even make his uh, brain con- deterioration look even worse. To to essentially form a uh, a uh, you know to broadcast a cast a spell over the population. If they know this zombie situation, reports are going to start coming in. The devil, it's very real, casting spells. Witchcraft and sorcery from high places. So this is something I, the Lord occasionally would bring up over the past few months. I'm like, man, all these high level people or people in media, look at Wendy Williams, Bruce Willis, getting these brain coming out public with brain conditions, deterioration. The president of the U.S., brain uh, deterioration, dementia. And so I'd been thinking this could be a witchcraft sorcery spell casting in preparation for the zombie uh, situation. Because if they can put it out there that the president of the U.S. If they could if they could put it out there, get it out there in advance that the essentially the 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 uh, structure of this nation, the leader of this nation is compromised. His brain is shot. His brain is gone. If they can get that out in advance and put a distrust in the uh, the leadership of this nation, you know, if the average person who trusts these uh, leaders now has a distrust or a concern that the leadership, the 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 president, his brain, his brain is gone. Do you understand why they would sow this in advance of a zombie outbreak? Because once the zombie outbreak starts, then you're basically going to advance the panic. They they could already see, wow, the president already had to, you know, drop out. His brain's gone, even if it's unrelated to prions. Let's say, you know, Alzheimer's dementia or completely fabricated. They could be direct and Biden to act like he has dementia or Alzheimer's. So if a zombie situation starts, people can look back and see that there's already a, uh, the president had to drop out, that there's a, you know, chaos, mis- distrust. And then if it starts in the general population, that's how you, you can sow panic. It's a, a form of witchcraft. This is spell casting, broadcasting. So if, if this is, if this is correct, my, my line of uh, thinking 
and what has been laid in my spirit over the past few months with regards to especially Biden and this broadcast and spell casting for the zombie outbreak. If this is the case, then this means now that they're really pushing the narrative that Biden's brain is compromised, he has to drop out. If, the, if this is linked up with the zombie outbreak, prions, the people who uh, put the foreign substance in them, if this is all connected, what this means is the zombie outbreak is very, very, very close. Very close. If these are actually uh, linked up. A goblet in the name of Jesus Christ.